Well, here's the setup. I've got the head turned to uh, 45 degrees. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there. So I just use the graduations there. It's not uh, super critical or pretty close. I mean, I'm not gonna use a sign bar and a stack of gauge blocks to verify it. I mean, if we're off just a smidgen, you know, that error will get taken out once we get over the surface grinder because this will be sitting on uh, V blocks. But I got her dialed in. Nice and straight. You guys can see that. I don't know if there's going to be a reflection on the glass or not. So we are good there. Now let me get you set up in a good spot and we'll cut this 45 degree. Okay, I had to get creative and get you guys in a good spot. Let's see how that works. Hopefully there's not going to be too much vibration. Got it set, uh, we'll do a 20 thou depth of cut, just kind of a clean up since the surfaces are really irregular. See how she likes it. Oh yeah. No problema. We can go deeper next time if we need to. So I decided to uh, change cutter diameter because after I start making a couple passes, I'm going to have to do it twice because the area that we're um, you know, milling wasn't getting the full coverage because the other end mill was one and one sixteenth diameter. This is one and three quarters. So I only have to do one pass at a time. So got dialed in uh, 30 thou. It's, it is a roughing, but I don't have a large end mill that is uh, like a four or five fluter. I just have this one and a uh, two flute. So hopefully the surface finish will be decent. Service finish, but it was good. Just wrapped it up. Surface finish looks pretty good for that corn cobber. So happy with it. I think what I'll do now, we'll get it out. I just need to turn it on our side and kiss this edge here. And then of course, like I said, we need to kiss this top and the milling will be done. So let me get that knocked out off camera and meet you over at surface grinder. Okay, all the uh, milling is done. 
Got the top dusted off. I think she came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. And like I mentioned before, if you can do as much milling in one setup and not move anything, that keeps everything uh, right with the world. I don't know if I can hold this or not. So, you know, these two sides, the bottom and the side, look, they're nice and square. The end, the bottom's gonna be nice and square. These two sides, nice and square. So, you know, doing it that way, you know, this is gonna be perpendicular to this side, this side, and that side. You know, these, this side and this side are parallel, this side and this side are parallel. So, you know, you're not uh, chasing squareness in two or three setups. So, cause all we had to do is move it once to, uh, you know, cut the 45 degree. All right, let's uh, get set up over to the surface grinder. I'll show you a couple setups. Um, I still don't have any good camera mounts to get you guys, you know, any surface grinding shots. So I may try to do uh, a smidgen doing it handheld, but uh, we'll see. So anyways, almost done, looking good. Well, got everything set up here at the surface grinder. Just got it running a little bit to get the bearings warm. It's about 60 degrees in here. But I, uh, you know, cleaned the chuck. I already dressed the wheel. I've basically touched off. So I'm just gonna skim that top a couple thou, get her nice and flat. So we'll have a good reference surface when we flip her over. I got you over here. I'll get you a little bit of surface grinding shots. But like I said, it's not the best angle. And I'm not sure how much you can see, so well, uh, we'll give it a shot. What do you say? Now I'm only taking off about a thou to start off with, just in case there's any high spots. Don't want to run into something and grind into it hard, you know. I balanced the wheel with my new wheel balancer, if you saw the previous videos. I made a uh, harbor off camera. I'm using one of Chuck Bomarito's wheel balancing hubs that he sells. And this wheel was out pretty bad. I had to use a lot of set screws. But that surface finish looks really good, so excellent. Let me get you in. Hopefully you can see that. Get some light in there, but looks like uh, that surface finish looks good. Like I said, I'm just gonna do a, a dry grinding on this uh, Camelback. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna uh, kiss it a little more, then I'll get it flipped up and get some more grinding done. And when I get a chance, maybe I'll show you a shot or two. Just got wrapped up. Just figured I'd show you the setup. That's that uh, magnetic brown and sharp V block I picked up off of eBay for a really good deal. I showed it in a few mail calls ago. So I finally got a chance to use it. That surface finish looks good. So this is as smooth as I can make it with my equipment. So 
let's uh, see if any edges need to be deburred and we'll get her over on the surface plate and see if she hinges real good. Got you over here at the surface plate. Hopefully you can see it pretty well, but uh, hinges pretty good off the, right there. Let me turn her around so my arm is not in, in the way and then and the hinges in that area. So pretty good. Oh yeah. Almost a, uh, like a suction fit when you try to pull it. Obviously I know you can't, can't hear it, but it's like, there you go. So she's flat. Yeah, I was lifting it up. I did a boo-boo, so got a little bit of a scratch right there. Darn it. Can't have anything nice, can we? <laughs> but uh, 45 came out really nice. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. So. Excellent. All right, there you go, guys. One milled. And surface ground, nine inch rucker, camelback straight edge. So fun project, hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, I know there's obviously, what, several YouTubers that have done this project. You know, Adam, Keith Rucker himself, probably a couple others. So if you watch my video, hey, I appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, give me a sub. If you like this kind of stuff, I try to do a video about once every Wednesday with uh, machining content and occasionally a mail call. And for all you guys that have been sticking with me, I appreciate that. It really helps. We're getting close to 2,500 subs, so that is awesome. And, uh, you know, hey, one more project knocked off the list. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Leave comments. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's up to you. And we'll catch you later. Bye.